Here we're seeing a blister forming in the upper right of this organism. So it's undergoing a change. Actively changing in real time. And looking at it from below through an inverted microscope. Current frequency is being held at 1182 hertz plus the 11th harmonic. Now you can see the blister growing off the right top and you can see also a kind of a glittering effect that goes on. I believe that this glittering type effect is a clue to what's causing these morphological transformations. And because we are using an inverted microscope, we have a different view than we have had in previous transformations. And perhaps we are seeing some information here which will be revealing of what's causing these effects. This is a live morphological transformation of the Permisium caudatum caused by a Reifbeer plasma device. We'll take a quick photograph for the archive. And it continues to change in real time. If you watch the upper right side of the structure, you see a blister slowly growing. We will continue to watch this organism. And you see some tiny nearby organisms as well. Just adjust the light level a little bit so we can get a little better view with the video camera. Perhaps you can see the sort of fireworks effect happening in the growing blister to the right of the organism. And here comes a little neighbor wondering what's going on. Who's testing. And you can see blisters forming now on the lower left quadrant and upper left quadrant. The shape is now changing and a major explosion out the top. You can see material being ejected from the organism. It's internal contents spilling out onto the slide. And if you look closely, you can see spheroid structures forming around the outside, some of which have broken off and are floating free in the debris field. Morphological transformation and destruction of the protozoa Paramecium caudatum caused by a rife bear plasma device November 2nd, 2008 Current frequency 1182 hertz plus the 11th harmonic. It's about a 10 minute exposure at 1182 hertz. Power levels are about 105 watts. And now we'll see if there are any more organisms changing. Keep an eye on this guy. He's got a lot of subtle spheroids, I believe. This is November 2nd, 2008. 
power levels about 110 watts, SWR about 1.15. It's gone through a series of three minute exposures starting at 1168, running up to 1177. We're now at 1177 plus the 11th harmonic. We're going to keep an eye on this guy and see what changes happen. We're looking at this paramecium from below using an inverted microscope. You can see there's a lot of cilia action going on. This is being filmed on an Olympus IX-70 inverted microscope. This guy. Over there. There you go. There's an excellent dark field photography. It's actually crystal clear on the video screen. I'm not so sure it's so clear on this video camera I used to shoot this. Maybe we'll back down the brightness just a little bit. There's a kind of a glittering background effect going on. It's just quite interesting. There's a tiny organism nearby with a little flagella. You can see the flagella. Very interesting. It looks great on the computer screen. Let's see what kind of action <coughs> we can get going here. Oh, you are seeing an actual explosion happening. You see these blisters around the edge? Will these show up in the dark field? This is marvelous. This is a 451 second exposure. It's pretty long. He is definitely exploding. You can see blisters forming and popping along the edges. This was a Paramecium caudatum, 1177 hertz, <laughs> seems to be having the best effect here. We can shift from dark field, if we like to, but uh, let's, we've never filmed a dark field you see this tiny organism swimming by on the right? It's fantastic. Example, perhaps an example of selective effect of specific frequency. Continues to change. You can adjust the contrast of the situation. It's a fascinating, you can see morphological changes here and a kind of a, it's like an internal fireworks, it's just a sparkling going on throughout the inside of the organism. I'm afraid your camera is not picking this up as well as I'm seeing it. And we're seeing a tiny organism float by. 
above. Now we've gone up to 1178 hertz, which has had its success in the past. Wonderful view of tiny organisms unaffected. With, you can actually see their single flagella in the dark field. Fantastic view. Power levels about 110 watts. SWR 1.15. Eleven hundred seventy-eight hertz plus the eleventh harmonic, and you see that little, this marvelous video because you can see that tiny, those tiny organisms, apparently unaffected, and you continue to see degradation on the upper right side. This was a paramecium caudatum. We're going to snap a quick photo. Here comes another tiny organism. This is just fantastic to have an opportunity to film video like this where other organisms are in the picture calmly swimming by, even touching the paramecium. There's one touching them on top. Oh, and you see an explosion here out the side. Excellent. Wonderful video. Morphological transformation of a paramecium caudatum. Undergoing a rife bear plasma device experiment. Now the I don't think there's much less left of this paramecium because these tiny organisms are now trying to swim right through it. Paramecium caudatum. Morphological transformation caused by a rife bear plasma device. November 2nd, 2008. This effective frequency was 1178 hertz plus the 11th harmonic, but we have also seen that frequency affect other organisms. This organism, along with many others on the slide, underwent a series of exposures, approximately three minutes each, starting at 1168 hertz. and running through 1178. That is a timer telling me the entire duration of the experiment so far for this organism has been 30 minutes. We began to see the shape change around 1177 plus the 11th harmonic. Let's take a little closer look now without the dark field effect and see what we can see. Here is a morphological transformation of a paramecium caudatum November 2nd, 2008. Current frequency is 1182 Hertz plus the 11th harmonic. This organism has undergone a series of frequencies starting at 1168 and changing by one Hertz about every three minutes. We did hesitate for some minutes, however, at 1177 and 1178 as we filmed the previous effect. Morphological transformation of the paramecium caudatum caused by a rife bear plasma device.
current frequency 1182 hertz plus the 11th harmonic and you're looking at a kind of dark field microscopy utilizing an Olympus IX70 inverted microscope and we've been getting some good pictures with that scope. We'll just center that picture a little bit for you. You can see already there's been some kind of membrane rupture. Fascinating. <laughs> 